Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a different kind of video for you guys today. It's really just something that I feel that God laid on my heart. He's actually laid it there for quite a while and I, I didn't know what to do with it, so I kind of didn't do anything about it. So I wanted to actually just read something to you guys today. Um, about a year ago, I felt like God laid something on my heart and I wrote it down in my little list of YouTube video ideas um, that I wanted to share with you guys, but I really didn't know what to do with it. I really... I just, I, I was stuck at that point. I had the idea and I had some Bible verses in mind, but I didn't know what to do with it after that. So I basically kept putting it off and putting it off until now, about a year later, I finally, for some reason I couldn't sleep one night and I started writing this in my head while I was laying there in bed, like writing it in my brain. And I thought, oh, okay, God really wants me to tell somebody this. I don't know who he wants me to tell it to. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought I should share it with you guys. So instead of just kind of summarizing what I wrote, I'm just going to read to you what I wrote. That way you'll hear it in my original version. I actually posted it on my Facebook page a couple weeks ago, um, just in case that was something that God wanted me to do with it as well. I don't know. Um, but I thought I'd read this to you guys, and whoever may need to hear it can hear it, and maybe they'll be inspired or touched by it and um, maybe give you a little bit of motivation, inspiration, and some, you know, insight. If you hear heavy breathing, Loki is like right here with his head in my lap, so that's what that noise is if you hear it. You're rotten. Lay down. Okay, so just like the title of this video, the title of the story or article or whatever that I wrote is called, Do You Have Time for God or Are You a Convenient Christian? I once attended a church that rescheduled their usual Sunday evening service because the basketball game was happening that night and they knew too many people would rather not miss the game. That was years ago, but it still upsets me and is a very sad reflection of what we have become as believers. Things have been made so convenient in our lives that we often don't put ourselves out for anything, no matter how important. Some things that make our lives easier are merely everyday conveniences like delay start dishwashers and DVR but others are much more problematic like diet pills, cell phones, and drive throughs It's easy to also put God and our relationship with Him on the back burner while you do more important or more fun things. Life has become convenient and complacent rather than convicted. Being saved and being a believer shouldn't be a free pass to neglect our relationship with Him and not always strive to better ourselves, become more like Jesus, and grow closer to God. Like any relationship, when you neglect it, fail to nurture it, or to make time for it, it will die. The same is true of our relationship with God. So for those of us who are too busy for God, I ask this. What is more important in your life than God and your relationship with Him? What aspect of your life have you made into an idol? Elise Fitzpatrick wrote in Idols of the Heart, Idols aren't just stone statues. No, idols are the thoughts, desires, longings, and expectations that we worship in the place of the true God. Idols cause us to ignore the true God in search of what we think we need. So what is the idol in your life that is replacing the time that you should and could spend with God? Does that mean that God doesn't want us to have hobbies, time for ourselves, or to enjoy watching sports or playing them? Certainly not. It does, however, mean that God wants to be the most important part of your life. That may require you to get up early to read your Bible, have quiet time with God, or to pray. That may mean going to church on Sunday morning when you aren't a morning person or have nothing nice to wear. And yes, sports fans, that might also mean that you won't get to watch your favorite team play. Without sacrifice, there can be no reward. As John 3.30 states, He must increase, but I must decrease. I am writing this to encourage you and myself to make time for God even when it's not convenient. Make time for God when times are good. Make time for God when times are tough. Make time for God when you're mad at Him and make time for God when you don't feel like you have time to spare. Loving God and having a relationship with Him might not always be convenient, but it is the most important relationship and time spent you will ever experience. So. There you go. I don't know exactly. Uh, this has happened before where I felt like God laid something on my heart and I just didn't know exactly who I was supposed to share it with or how I was supposed to tell it or whatever. Um, so I figured I will make the video. I wrote the thing. I will put it out there for you guys. So whoever may need to hear it or who you may need to share it with or whatever and let God take it from here because obviously he put this on my heart to share and it's up to him to put it in the place, uh, put it in front of people that need to hear it. So. I just hope it meant something to you and it inspires you to make sure that you, even if you're a Christian and you're saved, um, that you spend time with God. You're making time with God. You're making time to grow your relationship with God. And so I wrote this really to, to tell you guys that, to encourage you, to encourage me. 
I have been getting up earlier um, these last few months and reading my Bible every morning and or saying a quiet, you know, saying a prayer before everybody else gets up in the house before we start school. Um, just as my personal private time with God and it's been making a, an amazing difference in my life. So I thought I would share it with you guys. If it's touched you in some way, I'm really, really glad that was the intention of it. Um, if you feel like there's someone in your life that may need to see it, maybe share it with them. It's in God's hands, obviously, but um, I'm just glad to have a little bit of a part of it. If it helped you, I'm super, super happy about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.